have fun in this wind. Yeah, it won't be too long because we don't really have a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of gross. I'm sinking a little bit. Have fun. I will. Hello, and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, my name's Chato. My girlfriend, Samantha, isn't here today. So my whole purpose today is to find a nice spot to pull over and cook some steaks over an open fire. It's a beautiful day. You know, with the wind at my back, I don't even feel it. And the sun is just beaming down. It's gorgeous. Hard to believe that this is October when it looks like this. To my surprise, when I launched, there was pelicans on the lake. They're not so much on the lake as they are just at the mouth of the lake. It's probably, I would imagine that has something to do with the fish coming through and easier pickings. Anyways, as it is, I'm gonna paddle my butt off. I'm gonna find a spot to pull over and start a fire. So yeah, let's make some miles and we'll check in in a little bit. So the water's a little bit choppy today. is your kayak not a kayak when it's a torpedo Well, I found a place to land. I actually wanted to go a little bit farther down. I kind of wanted to go around that point there, but I'm kind of getting tired. I'm a little bit out of shape, it seems. Behind me, a train's coming. Yeah, awesome. So this is where we're gonna have lunch. It looks pretty barren. There's lots of wood everywhere, but I'm hoping to find some birch bark because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to work hard to start my fire. All right, let's get this done. All right, let's find some stuff to start a fire. As you can see, there's plenty of sticks. There's plenty of small stuff for kindling, plenty of bigger stuff. There's bound to be something here. Look at that. That's plenty of plenty of bark. So start finding some stuff. Yeah, this stuff is so dry. Okay, I think we got enough of this. Yeah. That's enough of this. I'm wondering if I should try to find a spot out of the wind like I could set something up over there behind that rock even looks like there might be a bit of a flat spot there and you'd probably be semi protected from the wind let's have a walk over there and see and this is actually kind of nice once I get close to this rock the wind kind of dies down a little bit okay mark it with my mask so I think that's about enough wood. 
I got four little logs there. That's probably more than enough, more than I need. Took like 30 seconds with this saw, like 30 seconds to cut through each one of those. I love that saw. Thanks, Sam. It was a Christmas present last year, the year before, I think, from Sam. And I absolutely love it. Use it every chance I get. All right, let's start this fire. And super easy. Love it here in Kamloops. Everything's so dry. It's there's no problem starting a fire. But at the same time, that's why we have fire bans pretty much every single year, all summer long. So, in fact, they were planning on having fire bans right through until October 31st, but. I guess it's wet enough now that they've decided to lift the bands. And so, yeah, I'm on it, man. I'm pretty stoked. Oh, these flames are getting a little closer than I want them to. Getting, getting too close to my new phone. Stay the hell away from my phone. All right. So let's see what we're having here. A little bit of hot chocolate. I thought I might want some in case it was cooler. I knew it was going to be a little breezy today. Okay. A couple of steaks. I I seasoned them and everything already this morning. They're all thawed out. So they're ready to just go right on the fire. Don't need to do nothing with them. Now I'm not exactly the best at cooking steaks over an open fire. I'm not the best at cooking steaks at all actually. But I've been watching this one channel, Guga Foods, and that guy is a master of cooking steaks. And I already don't have what, what he has going on with my setup here. Oh, there we go. That one looks good. <laughs> the fire is like just right in my face, man. It's getting in my face. I think this guy's done. This guy's a little bigger. It might take another minute, but I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't know if the GoPro can see this, but that fat is just sizzling. That's looking pretty good if you ask me. I think it's time to take them off though. I feel like, I feel like this one's already too done. That guy might be pretty good right in the middle there. All right. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. They're, they're not quite burnt. They're, they're a little crispy there, a little bit of char, but that just adds flavor, right? So, okay, we'll give these a minute to just cool off and, and sit. All right, let's see the, let's see what I've done. Let's see the damage here. So, put this down here like this. Okay, this piece looks pretty delicious just as is. Mm, mm -hmm. mm. Oh my God, you can't be fire cooked. Like, huh. That piece was delicious. I'm not even trying to overact it here. Okay. I'm gonna cut right into the middle of this thing. We're starting with the thinner one first. So, okay. Yeah, so yeah, this one's a little bit more, more done than I wanted to. You can see it's a little pink in the middle, but, but it, it's not terrible. It's not, 
complete waste. Let's have a taste here. It cuts really nice. My knife's not that sharp, so. Okay. Ugh. All right, so that's not too, it's not terrible, but tastes good. Mm. Okay, let's try the thick boy here and see if I got this one right. Okay, this guy's looking a little better. That's about what I like. There we go. Check it out. So that's that's like just a little bit past medium rare. Still a little bit pink in the middle, a little soft, but but not quite medium rare. And all I did for seasonings, all I did for seasonings was uh, some salt and pepper and If it's tender. Mm. A little bit of crisp from the, the charcoal, the fire. A little bit of burnt stuff. I don't know what the hell you call it. Anyways, it's good. So not too bad. Definitely not my worst steaks. Probably not my best though. I think when we were camping last year, at this time, actually, we went camping this weekend last year. I made up a steak that was just mm, ungodly. But then I overcooked Sam's. Go figure. And she likes her steaks a little bit less done than mine. So I figures that I'd cook mine to perfection and then overcook hers, right? What a dick. Something I forgot to mention is that that's all steak juice. That's good stuff. So you know you got a juicy steak when you got a bowl of soup. Anyways, I'm pretty stoked. These are good. You know, the one's a little bit overcooked, but still pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna sit down over at my rock spot and eat this up quick, cause I'm already, I should have left by now. Actually, I should be leaving right now. And I'm still just getting down to eat. So I gotta hurry up and eat this take a few minutes to digest and then hit the water. So we're gonna get that done. All right, well, that's my lunch. That was pretty awesome. I cannot complain. That's my spot. It's all cleaned up now. A little bit of ash on some rocks. No big deal, right? Okay, I don't know how well this shows up into the camera here, but as you can see, the wind is coming at me from pretty much this direction here, which is actually really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across out to the water straight 90 degrees off the beach here. And then I'm gonna make a 90 degree turn and paddle pretty much straight that way. And with the direction of the wind, I should have the perfect angle. I should be able to go straight all the way to the end. All right, I'm on the water now. Like I said, there on the beach, the plan, let's drop my rudder, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna cut straight out into the middle of the lake and then I'm gonna turn 90 degrees and pretty much I should be able to paddle just straight down the middle of the lake in a perfectly straight line. So if we look straight forward, oh, see the wind's changing up a little bit again here. And there we are. We can see that the waves and the wind is coming just from this angle here. And I want to keep, so the wind is coming this way and my boat's going this way. And that's kind of the angle that I want. Not too much higher 
and not too much more this way but right right about there is pretty good I'm not really paddling hard and it doesn't look like much right now I'm way out in the middle of the lake so you got no reference point really to see what type of speed I'm doing and I'm definitely not breaking no friggin speed records here but I'm not paddling hard and I'm making ground I can, oh, see now the wind is changing again all right so I'm just gonna tack in this direction something like that and I don't know exactly how it works somehow the wind is is like pushing the back of my kayak but because I'm counteracting with my rudder and paddling forward it just it seems to help propel me just a lot better So at the moment, it looks pretty much like with the direction of the wind, I'm going to cut straight across to Battle Bluffs. So we're just going to keep on this course and get myself across the lake. So we're at Battle Bluffs. Probably looks pretty tiny in the GoPro, but it's actually pretty huge. That's the end of the trip. It wasn't a big one, but it was a pretty good one. I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed that trip. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe and comment. Tell me what you thought about it. Tell me what you thought about that steak. I can tell you right now, it was pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna go home, maybe get a coffee on the way. Maybe? Yeah, if you're paying. Oh, if I'm paying. I think my wallet's still in here. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was the end of the trip. It was pretty good today. Nothing super exciting or special. Just, you know, a good time out on the water. So if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <clears throat>